Welcome design students. In this video we're going to learn about a number of things. The grid, rulers, guides, snaps. We're going to look at the outline view and we're going to learn how to zoom in and pan. So let's start with the grid. When you start up grab it, the grid is not visible. You can turn on the grid over here on the right hand side under grid by clicking on and that turns the grid on. You can manipulate the size of the grid by typing in different numbers here or clicking and dragging like so. The larger the number, the larger the grid. The grid is useful as a guide. It can help you line things up. For example, if I have a rectangle here, I can make a copy and easily line it up on the grid to be sure that all of these are in line with each other. To make absolutely certain that they're in line with each other, I can snap to the grid and uh, we'll explore that in just a minute. Notice that the grid settings went away because I have a shape selected over here. If I click away from the shape into the artboard or into the uh, canvas area, the grid settings come back. The grid can also be isometric, and this gives you angles between each square. And the angles and the size of the grid can be adjusted here, as you can see. Now again, as I said, the grid can be very useful when you use it in, in conjunction with snapping. So let's turn on snapping. To turn on snapping, you come to the view, snap to, use snapping, and then you can pick what you want to snap to. Or you can click this button here. And you can access those tools here. If I turn on snapping and I open up the menu, then I can choose what to snap to. I'm going to snap to the grid. And then I'm going to get my pen tool and I'm going to draw a quick little three-dimensional box. And you can see how the grid is useful in that way. Now as I said, we can use snapping and we can snap to the grid. We can snap to guidelines, which we'll cover in just a minute. We can snap to pixels, we can snap to anchor points, or we can snap to shapes. So let's see what it's like to snap to an anchor point. So I'm going to create a box, and then I'm going to move the box, and notice it wants to snap to the anchor points of the other shape. And that snap to anchor point. Now we can also use custom guides. I'm going to turn off the grid here. To use guides and rulers you have to turn on the rulers. So we come up to view and we're going to find canvas show rulers. And then the rulers appear. Now notice as I'm moving my cursor around the ruler position changes and it's set to pixels. I could set it to inches if I want, but I, my square is a thousand pixels by a thousand pixels. So I know if I wanted to put a line straight down the middle, I would put it at 500 down the middle. So to select a guide, for example, if we wanted to make sure we had, you know, I don't know, a 20 pixel margin around our page, all we do is click in the ruler area and drag the guide over. And this will make sure that we don't get anything outside this area. We can put something outside this area, but, you know, it's just a reference. And I can also put one basically in the middle here. and in the middle here. Okay, now we can also snap to the guides. So I'm going to turn off snap to anchor points and I'm going to put on snap to guidelines. And now if we draw a shape and we move it, it'll snap. It's not very obvious, but you can feel it when you're moving it around. It'll snap to the guidelines. So this is very useful when you're laying out a page, a web page or a document of any sort. Zooming in is very easy. 
If you wanted to zoom in on a certain portion of this document, you push Control plus or Command plus on a Mac. And if I want to look at the upper left hand corner, I need to pan. I can pan a number of different ways. I can use my middle mouse button or I can click the pan tool or I can hit H to use the shortcut to the pan tool and V would be the shortcut to the selection tool. So now I can zoom in on this corner and work on this section of the document. To zoom out, simply push Command or Control minus. And one final thing I'd like to show you about the view settings here is uh, the outline view. If you have a number of shapes, let's just make a few shapes here and make them different colors. If you have a number of shapes here that sort of overlap each other and you want to see how they look sort of behind each other, you can use the outline view. And to do that, you come up to view and you select outline view. And that gives you only the outline of all the shapes on the canvas. And that can be useful to see how something's constructed. So in this video, we learned about the view and snap settings and the grid, rulers, guides, and snapping to them and lining things up using the grid. And I'll see you in the next video.